Why does everyone in oblivion have a massive penis? Well, 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 hello everyone, and welcome to me adjusting my mic because it's not in the right position. Well, well, well hello everyone, and welcome uh, to the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. I've never actually played Oblivion before at all, ever in my lifetime. I've never touched it. Well, I mean, it says continue because I tested out just a couple things before I recorded, but I didn't actually play the game at all. And I know that may be offensive to some people. I've played Morrowind, believe it or not, and I've played Skyrim, but I just never played the one in between them two. Oblivion. So I guess we'll get started with a new game. Is that what the Bethesda studios look like with Todd Howard in charge? Character customization. Yes. All right, my name, Todd. My name is Todd Showered. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's got a Snapchat filter on his face. <laughs> the whitest man to ever exist. <laughs> oh, wow, Todd Showered, your skin is really glowing. All right, we just need a hairdo that really goes with this now. <laughs> it's Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this. Jimmy Neutron on the hairdo. <laughs> we are done. Yes, I'm sure I want to be the Wood Elf. I'm just start off by picking up some human remains. Looks like I'm right in a comfortable environment for myself. <laughs> look at that nose. You can see him coming from a mile away. All right, the guards are coming. I'm ready to throw hands. All right, 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 right. Oh, I can't move. You are the one from my dreams. <laughs> More like nightmares, mate. <laughs> As for what you have done, it does not matter. It's killed about 15 children, but don't worry. That will not be remembered. Wow, what's going on in here, guys? Secret room? Separate him from the rest of the gang and then murder him. No, 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 stop spreading, come back! Protect yourself. Protect myself? What? Ooh, dead bodies. I uh, don't mind if I do. Christ, that bulge! Jesus! <laughs> I can't decide if I prefer myself with a hood or without a hood. <laughs> oh, I've got a similar sort of bulge. Why does everyone in oblivion have a massive penis? Ah, this is one of the people that I may have killed on my way to prison. <laughs> I mean, this armor gets bonus points from having his legs out, but I prefer this, to be honest. The robe suits him a lot better. Why do you walk so slow in this game? What is wrong with my character? Oh, he's two fighting a rat. Who's gonna win? Half dead man or rat? Oh, half dead man wins. Just gonna take his flesh and his bones so I can eat that all up. Oh, lettuce or human skull? <laughs> Human skull has got to be really, is not it? Ah, I'm over encumbered already. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how I drop items. When you type into Google how to drop item, the first thing that comes up is items in oblivion. <laughs> I don't need any of this armor. Armor, I don't need these old clothes. All I need is this nice evening gown. Now I have more space for human skulls. <laughs> oh, well, what do you know? Todd Child speaks. Stop headbutting me. Leave me alone. I don't want any more headbutts. Aggressive little shit. All right, we got some ale. Let's get absolutely intoxicated. Your intelligence is being drained. <laughs> I drank four ales and I'm not really feeling it, to be honest. Oh, look at this. We're back to my old basement. Ah, the memories of cannibalism. He's ripped, isn't he? Look at him. He's got them gains. Ah, oh, finally some rat meat that's cooked. Oh, I may be a cannibal, but I'm not eating raw meat. I'm using my lockpicks to open chests to find more lockpicks within the chests that have nothing else in them, but just more lockpicks. So I'm using lockpicks to find lockpicks, basically. Ooh, fire. Ow, fire burn. Everyone around him has died, but for some reason the Goblin King hasn't even noticed. He's just standing there idling. Ow! Magic! No! Unfair! Get out of here with your magic, boy! Uh, more human remains. This is looking good! Maybe I shouldn't have killed the Goblin King, because he was cooking up some good good. Is this the outside world? Outside world? Oh, more dungeons. No, no outside world. Oh, it's these guys! I think that was all- That's not smart. <laughs> Just has an arrow hanging out of his shoulder. <laughs> How many arrows can we have sticking out of his body before he dislikes us? You don't, don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, he's coming after us! <laughs> Here's an arrow sticking out of his nose. Hey, protect your emperor! The emperor's in danger! Leave me alone! I haven't done anything! Are you- are you still mad at me? <laughs> Let me rest a moment longer. So basically, when I come to- Oh! 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 Are you good? He's charging up like Sonic the Hedgehog. Gotta go fast! Emperor! Hello, Emperor! <laughs> this is just pure entertainment, watching him try to swing for me! <laughs> Where's he gone? I oh, know, wait, he hasn't given up. He's, he's just thinking of his next strategy. Oh no, I fell down! Oh, bollocks! Ah, oh, yes, alright. Use the lover's kiss power once a day to paralyze an opponent for 10 seconds. Look at that, I can get my real life skill of paralyzing people when I kiss them into the game. I think I'm just gonna go thief, because that sounds like the most practical one here. <laughs> it's like he's eating my mouse. You may as well make yourself useful here. Carry this torch and stick close. Have you seen me? I ain't carrying no torch. Look at me. Do I look like some kind of slave to you? Don't get in our way. <laughs> it's like when you're walking down the street and someone goes to go one way and then you go to go the same way and then you both go the same way and then you both move into the same way and then you both move into the same way again. You kind of look at each other with that awkward face and that kind of <laughs> and nervously laugh it off and then you both go the same way again. Yes, sir. What's your what's your call, sir? Sir? Sir, what's your call, sir? 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 So what's your call? For the Emperor! Where are they? Uh, help me. Help! I'm not very good with this bow and arrow. Ah! Kill them! Emperor, help! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! 
I don't think that was supposed to happen. He just come in and killed both of us straight away. No. No. <sighs> No. Why, my last save was at 12.04. That was 30 minutes ago. Why, Todd? Why no auto save, Todd? Woohoo! I made him do a backflip over the cauldron and add some extra blood spice to the dish. Oh, the blood is gone. All right, you guys stay out there. Yeah, yeah. You fight out there. I mean, I, I nearly died last time I was out there. All right, here we are. He's just giving me the amulet. Someone's coming through here. Can I, let me stop them. No, I couldn't stop them. All right, guys, you want to get in here. Guys, get in here. Kill him, please. He lives quietly as a monk at Wayne and Priory. Near the city of Coral. The city of Coral. You just go there and all you hear is Rick just like... Oh! A monk. <laughs> More like a monk at S. I want to be a thief so we can just pickpocket as many people as possible. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate the information. Um, if you could just not pay attention to me for a minute and I could just pickpocket you quick. You reckon if I completely strip him of all his clothes, he would notice? Oh, he's already caught me. <laughs> he just didn't do anything about it. Can I not loot his body? Leave the Emperor in peace. I want his stuff! No! Stop telling me to leave the Emperor, I want his stuff. Where's your boy? Did your boy die out here? Oh, he only had gold on him. Does anyone ever actually play a full Bethesda game in third person? Ooh, a secret door. The gate is sealed. Well, never mind. Edit, edit racer. No, I don't want to edit any of that stuff. I'm beautiful. Todd Showered, aka Jimmy Neutron, is out. I'm a free man. I'm a free man, free to explore the world of oblivion. All these ruins. Oh, hello. Are you guys not friendly? Ah, shit. You're not very accurate, are you? Ow! <laughs> Hits me as soon as I say that. I think the best thing about this game is the fact that sprinting doesn't use stamina. You know, what a great feature. It really annoys me in games where you like you sprint and you just run out of stamina so quickly. It works in games like Dark Souls and Sekiro and Bloodborne and those types of games that are supposed to be harder on purpose and that you actually use stamina for like a purposeful meaning. I mean, hello, dear. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think my arrow broke its neck. <laughs> Oh, right through the eye. As I was saying before I brutally murdered the deer. It works in some games like that that are supposed to be hard and you actually rely on stamina for certain things. But like in games where you're doing a lot of sprinting, like Bethesda games, sprinting shouldn't drain stamina. He is definitely not of the human kind. He is swimming with one hand. How far away is this red marker? Is that all the way up there? Is that the place that I have to go to? You know, yeah, we're getting a, we're getting a wee bit hot. Oh, that's better. Ho ho ho, get that skin out. Where is this place? It's so far away. Yeah, I'm not surprised my athletic skill has increased. Been running for longer than Mo Farah. Look at this, Todd is such a good developer that he made it so you could just outsmart the wolves. At any point, a wolf starts to attack you, but no, no worries, no fears. Jump on a rock and the wolf does not know how to climb. Well, I mean, people from like other countries might not know what I'm on about, but you know them roadmen that wear them reflective jackets? He's like full on 27 roadman, but just with his skin. Man don't need no reflective jacket. Man's got skin that glows like packets. Man's got skin that glows like the brackets in my account. Because I'm overdrawn. Hmm. Yeah. I'm poor. Man playing oblivion, running through the forest. Red marker so far away, I feel like Forrest Gump. Remember the tactic, guys. Get on the rock. The wolf cannot attack you. It has not yet figured out rocks. Are we there? Oh my god, please tell me this is it. Are we here? Hello? I swear I wasn't even supposed to go straight here. I'm sure that guy in the dungeon told me to go somewhere else first before I came here, but I'm just gonna nick one of them horses and dip. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for the horse. Appreciate it. I'm going. I've got the amulet. I've got your horse. I'm out. Hello. Can we ride the sheep? Woo! Get on the sheep. Oh. <laughs> Full right for it. Okay. He's so creepy. He's still staring at me. Look. <laughs> I just... Hello? <laughs> Hello! Well, you know it's an Elder Scrolls game because I just went into some random person's house and I'm gonna steal all their shit. Loaf of bread. What is the point in most of these items? I have no idea what the point in them is. Like a broom and a poor took up. And, uh, Mr. Todd, Mr. Todd, I've got this great idea. We, we, we've finished the game, but uh, we've had to remove a few of the pointless items because otherwise it just makes the game really buggy and kind of unplayable at launch. And really, we just end up screwing over our fans. Todd Howard just comes in. Did you remove the broom? Did you remove the poor took up? Because it just works. It just works. So now you see, Mr. Todd, with these features, it doesn't actually work. And we feel like we're scamming our fans, really, into just buying a game that doesn't really work properly. And because we're Bethesda, we get a free pass. But should we really get a free pass? Bethesda Game Studios, should we really get a free pass just because we're Bethesda? Aren't you sick of being that game studio? We need more brooms. Okay, okay, Mr. Todd, whatever you say, whatever you say, we'll scatter brooms across the entire map and fans will be loving the many brooms that they can have in their inventory and stack in their chests, which are absolutely pointless. I'll just go back to my reading. Come back to your reading. I thought, I thought, I read the subtitles quick and I looked at that and thought he said it's going to go back to his receding. And I was going to say, yeah, you've done a good job there so far. It's not receding backwards. That man is receding forwards. It is our mission to seduce Joffrey, because I think I got it in the bag, if it is. Look at these thighs. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. 
You're and you fiddled with him properly. I mean, hey, hey, don't, don't, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I mean, just look at him. Just look at him. You're trying to tell me that this guy doesn't have some kind of interest in kids. Hello. Oh, he's come over here. Does that mean I can steal his... Oh, what the fu... What the... <laughs> what the fu... <laughs> Greetings to you too. I'm just having fun running into these bowls because they have a mind of their own. They just fly down there. All right, our mission is simple. It is to go find the Emperor's son. Not many people know of his existence, but we do now, apparently, and I am stuck. I love you, Todd Howard. I really did enjoy it, actually. I'm enjoying this game a lot. I thought, like, it might be a bit outdated. A couple of things might be a bit different. But then I remembered Bethesda Game Studios haven't updated their engine in about 17 years. So nothing feels outdated, it just feels like every other Bethesda game. Being real, I am actually genuinely having a fun time in this game, so I will definitely make some more videos on it. And that's a great thing, because there's not many games releasing right now at this time of year. You know, the summer's very slow for games, so it's good for me to have a couple consistent series kind of videos that I can make. So we got this, we got Dragon's Dogma, we got Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, we got Deadly Premonition, which I really want to play a bit more of. So it's good to have a few kind of series things, or just every now and then videos that I can rely on consistently. If you did watch it to the end, I really do appreciate you, and it means more than you think watching a video right at the end is the most important thing for me as a small YouTuber trying to go. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you are new around here, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>